All right, now we have a logarithm, and we have to evaluate it, right? Now, we could use a calculator for this. Some of you guys can put this right into the calculator. Others can't because there's no base 125 button on your calculator. That's okay. Let's look at what this actually means, right? Now, this is going to equal something. We don't know what. Right now, we're just going to say it's y. So if I wanted to change this into exponential form, I would have 125 to the power of y equals 5. And again, all I did with that is I just changed the logarithm form into exponential form, right? We've got our bases, we've got the exponent, and the answer. Okay. So 125 to what power is 5? And for a problem like this, it may take a little bit of intuition on this part because um, 5 is less than 125. So it's essentially what we know is we're going to have to have a root of 125. So 5 would be what root of 125? Well, the square root of 125 doesn't work. In other words, uh, if we were to split this up, and just not looking at the uh, square root right here. 125, if we wanted the same base, is really what I'm saying. Five, 125 is 5 to the power of 3. So this equals 5, right? Now this was originally five, uh, 125 to the power of y. So it's really 5 to the power of 3 to the power of y. Of course, we can get rid of those parentheses and just make that 5 to the power of 3y. Of course, this 5 has a power of 1. And since we have the same bases, we can rewrite this with just the exponents, meaning we'd have 1 equals 3y. And then how do we solve for y? We divide both sides by 3, and we find that y equals 1 third in this case. So this logarithm would equal one-third.